Wow. Thank you, Howie. You know, as a young kid, my parents told me, what's the purpose of having a life if you can't have an impact on another's life? Today, Steve and Alex Corn, you guys impacted my life and my family's life. I thank you so much for this honor. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, growing up as a kid in Tampa with my nephew Gary, you never think about having your number retired. You think about winning World Series, playing in the major leagues, but you never think about having your number retired. So for this to happen, I'm very humble, very honest, very blessed for this opportunity, not only for myself, but to share with my kids, my grandkids, my teammates who helped make this possible, and all of you guys who definitely made it possible. I want, to, I want to take you guys on a little journey with me real quick before the rain gets started. And this is not to blow smoke or point fingers at anyone. In 1994, unfortunately, the Mets wanted to cut ties, which I completely understand from a business standpoint. But I wanted to stay to make things right with you guys. I didn't want to leave on the note that I did. Um, unfortunately, they thought it was best that we go separate ways. I was lucky enough to stay in New York, play the New York Yankees for two years, 90, 96 and 97. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm always a Met. I didn't, I'm not saying nothing. I'm always a Met. I'm always a Met. <laughs> yeah. So after the 97 season, I called the Mets to try to come back. Unfortunately, there was no room. They didn't have a spot for me. So I signed the Cleveland Indians for 98 and 99. After the 99 season, I called the Mets again, tried to come back. The roster was full, there was no room. I signed with the Houston Astros in 2000. I pitched one game, got traded to Tampa. I pitched eight games, I got released. I called the Mets again, tried to <laughs> Wanted to come back to finish my career. I said, I'll go to AAA, I'll do whatever it takes. Unfortunately, there's no room. I signed back with the Yankees, won the World Series. But, oh, here we go. I told you guys I'm a Met, I'm a Met, please. But uh, once my career was over after the 2000, I wanted to sign a one-day contract to come back here, to retire as a Met. Wasn't given an opportunity, but the moral of the story is, Everything's about timing. Unfortunately, in 2019, I had a setback. And so now, today, the time is right. My health is good. My mental health is good. And today, I get the retires and met. And I want all you guys to know, you guys are part of this. Thank you so much. Thank you.